Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a festive drinks video. So I'm sure we all remember the iconic 2016 Zoella's 24 Days of Christmas. I am going to make all the drinks she made on the quick and easy festive drinks video. So I think we should just get cracking. So the first one we're gonna make is called a cranberry and ginger fizz. So this one's like the easiest one. So first of all you need she used the kilner jar, so I'm going to use a kilner jar. You are going to need uh, ginger ale, cranberry juice, cranberries, mint, and some ice. First things first, I'm going to put some ice in my glass. So now we are going to fill that halfway with our ginger ale. Then we top it up with our cranberry juice. Then for garnish, we're going to take some cranberries. Pop a couple of those in there. This would be really cool if you froze these, I think. And a bit of straws. I've got some little festive straws for this as well. Okay, time for the taste test. That's pretty good. Just nice and refreshing. Okay, now we're on to our next drink. This one is called Mint White Hot Chocolate. For this you will need milk, uh, I'm using square to cream, she uses double cream in her video, if you want to do that you go for it. White chocolate, candy canes and I've got some mint extract. I'm going to be using a mug to put this in and you'll also need a heat proof container and a saucepan. So first of all we are going to put a bar of chocolate into here. Hot, hot chocolate. A bar of chocolate seems excessive but I don't know how you're going to get the milk chocolate flavour without putting a lot in. We're just going to put that aside for a sec and we're going to measure out some milk so we're doing it into here so probably about two thirds i reckon and we're going to pop that in obviously feel free to use a dairy free milk if you want to um, and if you have it obviously go for a dairy free white chocolate so i'm going to get one of these out So we're just bringing this up to like a simmering point and then we want to add in a tiny bit of our peppermint extract. Give it a stir and taste it when you add it. Once you can taste the mint, I'm gonna pour this over the white chocolate. Now we're just gonna stir that and you'll find that it melts real quick. Once it's pretty much dissolved, we wanna taste it again. Oh, that can do more peppermint. I actually love peppermint, so I don't mind it minty. Once it's minty enough, we're going to pour it in. The last thing is decoration. So I've got some squirty cream or double cream, whatever you want to use. And then I'm going to pop in my candy cane. Lovely. She also put a little bit of chocolate on top, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not opening a whole bar of chocolate just, you know, for a chocolate topper. I'm gonna use a straw for this taste test just so I can get right in there. That's pretty good. It's quite rich, but obviously it's minty, so it's kind of cooling, it's quite nice. So the last one we're gonna film is going to be a cranberry and pineapple punch. So we've got our cranberry, we've got pineapple juice. Um, I don't have um, cinnamon sticks or anything like that. So I'm going with ground mixed spice. It has nutmeg in, it has cinnamon in. So I reckon that's all good. 
Then I'm using the cranberries again. Then we've got some orange slices. This is a hot punch, so I've got a saucepan ready. The ratio that she uses in her video is one part cranberry juice to two parts pineapple. That's 100 mils of cranberry and 200 of pineapple. Then this is going to go in the pan. Into the pan, I'm going to add some slices of orange, some cranberries, and a pinch of ground spice. Uh oh, that was a lot of ground spice. So that's just going to get heated up. Okay, so for this punch, I was going to use this glass because I thought it was festive, but I'm a bit scared about putting hot liquid into this, so I've transferred my cranberry fizz into this one, which looks very cute, and I'm going to use the kilner jar because I know that can have hot liquids. So once this is heated up, I'm going to pour it into a jug. I'm going to strain it as I pour it, I think. Doing it off camera so you can't see me make a mess. I actually did not make a mess, which is incredible. I'm gonna garnish this with two orange slices, and here it is. Obviously, I only made a little bit of this. I might top it up with a little bit more cranberry and pineapple. I'm just gonna keep these in the same ratios. So I've topped it up to make a full drink. Now it's time for the taste test. Oh, ho, ho. that is really, really good. Yes, make that, it's flipping great. So my verdict on these, pretty good Christmassy drinks, especially if you don't drink, because none of them have alcohol in. Uh, I think my favorite is the punch, I have to say. That one's really good, you could so easily add a nip of something into that. Uh, and the same actually with the, do you know what I'm saying with all of them? Just put the booze in if you want. Uh, I would definitely think about adding some rum into the punch, maybe some vodka or even whiskey into the fizz because it has the ginger ale in there. And then you could put, gosh, you could put anything into the white chocolate, but I would probably keep it with a creme de menthe or something. Just keep it in the minty arena. That's everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas so far. That's everything for this video. Give it a like, subscribe, comment. What's your favourite Christmas drink? Have you ever tried recreating the Zoella drinks? Let me know. Bye.